Hello, Alyssa. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. So let, let me get some notes started here. Is I, it just you and I today? It may just be you and me. And if so, we'll just remind me that I'm behind schedule. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a brief status report on some things that Darren Pope and I have been doing that seem to be generating really positive interest. Great. But it's and it's good to talk about those, I think, because that way you're aware of what we're doing and why we're doing it and mm -hmm. etc. So uh, I suspect great. Oleg's unavailable because he's probably taking care of his little boy. Yeah. So yeah. All right, let's see. So Hacktober, oh, I know what I wanted to put on the agenda. It was um, adopt a plug-in, adopt a plug-in initiative, Mark, and that would be uh, live streams with Darren Pope. Uh, here, I'll just put, let me put it, uh, put it up and we'll start the meeting. And then I assume, is there anything you wanted on the agenda for DevOps world? Any summary you want to give there, more details, anything like that? Um, yeah, we can do a quick recap. Great. All right. So DevOps world, Alyssa, Contributor Summit, October 2, me, October 9, me, Hacktoberfest progress report. That's a good one to talk to. I think that's okay, good. So I think I have a draft agenda. I'm gonna start sharing my screen and then I will turn um, on the recording. Mark, oh, yes, so I think we're already recording. It's for me, it says recording. Oh, good. All right, we are already recording. Very good. So we're, we've already got it. Okay, um, share my screen. So I think one thing we might wanna talk about is, um, so planning for the last quarter of the year, I know that we have FOSTEM that's gonna to be towards the tail end, uh, well, beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I need to fine tune my budget for Q4. So okay. if there's anything that we want to contribute to you know, uh, or be part of uh, that involve some budgeting, then let's discuss that. And so that I can make sure to put aside money for it. Good. All right. Well, and so one topic for me, there is possible Hacktoberfest um, swag yep. or adopt a plug-in swag. I realized today, as I was thinking more about this, that we might get better retention for our for people who adopt a plugin, if we sent them a t-shirt mm -hmm. okay. and have them take a picture of, they got the t-shirt and because adopt a plugin is actually quite a bit more effort. Um, Hacktoberfest swag, it may be good enough to mail email or physically mail them a sticker, but, mm -hmm. but the adopt a plugin, they're really signing up for to, to help us in a bigger way. Okay. All right. So let's, we got that there upcoming events and planning. All right. Anything else? Anything else you want to put on the agenda? Uh, no, I think that's it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is share my screen, and we'll look at the agenda and take notes there. Okay. All right. So here we go. All right. Can you see the screen? Okay. Yes. I can. Super. All right. So um, first topic was this adopt a plugin initiative. So um, thanks to the DevOps world. Uh, funding of fun DevOps world. And so basically I should say it differently, CloudBees mm -hmm. uh, funded me to develop a workshop. Mm -hmm. The contributing to open source workshop. Yeah. And we're reusing that, extending it, reusing, extending, Etc. And the extensions are, um, we've done two live streams already, a series of live streams of one hour live streams with Darren Pope, showing people how easy it is to adopt a plugin. Okay. Uh, a tutorial uh, for www.jenkins.io 
with uh, Diraj Joda. So Diraj Singh Joda has agreed to help create that tutorial. Um, so and, and me. And uh, we'll, we'll actually embed Darren's videos into those tutorials. So not only will we have tutorial steps on how you can very easily adopt a plugin, help it in a, in a way that actually matters, mm -hmm. but also here's a video showing you how we did it for a sample. Okay. Um, and and we're del I'm delighted to share that Mods Jacobson has adopted a plugin as a result of that effort. Oh, nice. So we've got one example of success. Yeah. And one is one is much better than zero. Absolutely. Okay. You want to share a DevOps world status? Sure. Um, so DevOps world uh, had a total of 18,000 registrants. Um, I'm trying, I'm going through some of the datas right now. Uh, we had most of the registrants came from the U S India and Europe. Um, what else can I share? And most were, in software and technology, they were um, practitioners as such. Um, how did the community do? Let's see. Um, we had sessions. Sorry, there's like a deck that was sent to me and I'm scrolling through it. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. Um, so one of the session that did really well was called from big and slow to small and agile, splitting monolith uh, Jenkins controllers for increased performance. Um, I don't have the, the data of who is the speaker for that. Uh, that was, uh, what's his name? here in Colorado, uh, oh. Oh, that's really embarrassing. Oh. I've worked with him, uh, I'll, I'll have to look it up, but yeah, that's that the, the, really well. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Dubrist. Oh. oh, okay. Got it, yeah. Um, 100 deploys a day, five steps to success. That was the next one that did well. DevOps culture at AWS was the third one that did well. Um, digital evolution of migration. And the last, so the last one that did well, this is like the top one, two, four, five sessions that did well was managing multiple Jenkins instances at code. And these were the ones that did well during the live sessions. Great. Good, okay. Yeah. Um, we also got some really good um, data with regards to the number of attendees for the community track. Um, enabling finance grade DevOps, automated governance and audit that did well within the community track. Good. Uh, speeding up Jenkins and Maven with build cash. Um, pipeline optimizing continuous delivery pipelines is 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 another hot topic. Oh, uh -huh. visualizing Git forensic data in a Jenkins plugin. Ah, good Uli's presentation. Yeah, that was that had that was on the list of the top four. Great. Yeah. Um, so that's, I, I can send you this list if you like, Mark, but it's, um, I mean, it's great. We had, we had 23 sessions total for the community and, and I'm glad that there were lots of, it, it shows me that there's still lots of interest for Jenkins. So that's, that's good. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I don't have data on the workshop, so I will request for that data. 
no, no, no worry there. The work, the, the workshop itself, at least my workshop was tiny. We had a total of seven participants and that's fine. Uh, we got, we got enough value out of the, the, the exercise of creating it and the interactions with the people who were involved who attended that it was very, very worthwhile. It had been worthwhile if there'd only been one attendee. We were getting so much additional value out of it. Right. Other workshops I can't talk to, but, but the workshop okay. I ran, it was, it was a, a great success, not because of the number of people that attended, but because of the results we got from the workshop. Excellent. Excellent. And that's what we, we wanted. Right. Yeah, that's, that's it that I have for our DevOps world. Okay. And then, so Contributor Summit, we hosted the Contributor Summit October 2nd associated with DevOps World, and it was a Hacktoberfest launch. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we had three presenters that shared how to approach different ways of contributing to four different ways to contribute to Jenkins. And so there was, let's see, there was uh, migrating docs to GitHub that I presented. There was improving the UI presented by Ora Kaufner, uh, improving uh, better securing JavaScript in Jenkins with content security policy. And that was uh, Vadek Falomir. And then I did one on some other topic. I'm sorry, I forgot what topic it was. I'll have to look at the notes. But um, those four, four different things that um, we had uh, 20, what was it? 25 plus attendees. And then for the Contributor Summit on the, uh, the ninth, we had, um, I believe it was 45 plus attendees and project update was presented uh, and uh, Oleg led sessions on, on uh, Jenkins file runner and on several others, several other topics. Mm -hmm. So both, both were good experiments. That's a, the, the attendance is about what we got at other contributor summits, Yeah. but we got a different audience this time. So it was very much a strong audience from India, uh, some attendees from China. And so very pleased that, that we, we reached Asia like we hoped we would. Nice. Well, and this aligns with the interest that we're seeing at DevOps world, because there's a lot of interest from India Right, yeah, exactly. That's too. So that's great. And and we should we should continue encouraging contributions from people in India and Africa. Um, that's the, those are great places and great places for us to welcome their help. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Next topic for me, or any any questions or comments on Contributor Summit? Uh, no. Okay. We're next good. topic was Hacktoberfest. And there we've got um, strong progress, Mark, to create a blog post highlighting some of the, uh, some of the, uh, the areas. And I've got to show you one of them. You, you, should, you should just be charmed as can be by this one. Mm -hmm. Look at the artwork we received. Here we go. Look at this. Do you see Duchess France? Yes, yes, yes. That's our, <laughs> that's our first female. Uh, Jane exactly. Yes. So we have we have a logo, and and that <laughs> so so that that for me is is that's brilliant. We've mm -hmm. wanted for years to get a, a logo, a female logo, and and there there we've got it. So yeah, uh, we've awesome. also got, let's see. So Duchess France contributed logo. Uh, we've had French localization improvements. Nice. Uh, and from multiple authors, multiple contributors, we've had um, 
I think we're now at 15 plus plugins migrating their documentation to GitHub. So that thing that I launched at the first Hacktoberfest session at the Contributor Summit mm -hmm. on October 2nd has borne fruit and we've got several plugins that are making the transition. So special thanks to contributors there and more work to be done. Are, are these the ones that's mostly being contributed by, um, by folks within CloudBees? No, no. Well, no, actually. So, so the Duchess France one is outside CloudBees. Right. The French localization improvements is a hybrid between CloudBees people and non-CloudBees people. And the 15 plugins migrating their documentation is also a mix. Oh, we've great. got one strong CloudBees contributor and we've got three or four non-CloudBees contributors that have been working on, on that particular set of things. Great. So it's it's a good mix of all sorts of people from all sorts of places. Cool. Okay. And then I know that uh, what DEC is working on the or somebody else is working on the the t-shirt design for the Hacktoberfest, but that's I believe that's within Cloud B Smart. Oh yeah. See, or I don't. I haven't heard anything about any attempt to do swag to people who were Hacktoberfest contributors or anything as big as a t-shirt anyway, um, yeah. to Hacktoberfest contributors. I, if you've got funds for that, we could certainly consider it, but I was yeah. not, I was assuming we needed to keep this one less expensive. Right, well, I, 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 um, I do have funds for that and I'm, I am planning to at least um, do, according to WADAC, at least 40 oh, okay. t-shirts. I love the design. It's got the bees and the cloud bees and uh, Hacktoberfest uh, since we can't use the Hacktoberfest logo. But um, but if there's if we want to give these t-shirts to external to um, non bees, uh -huh. then yeah, I would love to know it so that I can make sure that we uh, we send them some and that if that's if that's what we decide to do. Okay, so that's a, and that's, maybe that's a conversation I need to have with Vadek to see how he, I'll talk internally at CloudBees about that, mm -hmm. discuss with Vadek. Um, so you've got funds for up to 40 shipments of, of shirts, custom shirts as designed by I Vadek. Can, I can do more if we need oh, okay. to. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. The reason, the reason I ask is for instance, I would love to get a shirt to, to a Hacktoberfest thank you shirt to some of our, our contributors on these docs migration things. Sure. It's, it's great that they've done it. And the localization improvements very much so would, would be a great way to, to send them a thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And can, well, this kind of leads to the next question that I have. It's not related to Hacktoberfest, okay. but um, well, probably a couple of months ago, we had talked about doing a Jenkins um, um, uh, fleece. Oh, oh, right, right. And so let's... It, yeah, and I, well, at least I know the governance. There, there's a lot of people that, that are contributing their time, people like Uli, mm -hmm. right? And, um, who contributes so much of their time to the project and has been around with the project for so long. I, I'd like to also send them a thank you for, you know, something warm and fuzzy. <laughs> right. So if we want to develop a list for that, for, for this quarter, for Q4, Mark, mm -hmm. I'd be happy to, um, to send them something. All right. Okay. Well, so let me... Let me so well. Let's let's talk about what criteria we might use there. So, sure. uh, significant contributors, significant contributions would be a, a great thing. And so, there I can already call out several that I think of. Okay, Tim Jacome, mm -hmm. uh, Ora Kaufner, mm -hmm. um, uh, Gavin Mogan. Yeah. In my case, it's been at Konechny. Konechny. And I'm missing all the accents Oleg. in his uh, Oleg Nanashev. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, 
Oh my God, what is her name? Oh my God. I've Evelina? Heard. Yes, thank you. Evelina, okay, Vilkos, W A K O S, -C, I think like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, oh, Olivia Vernin, mm -hmm. uh, Damien Duportal. So these Mark are. Wait. Uh, okay, yes, Mark Wait, absolutely. <laughs> Yes, yes, absolutely. Sure, why not? Okay, so, um, but I think I think that's already a great um, a great way of of telling them, hey, thank you, and mm -hmm. and what a what a what an opportunity to say thanks to them. Uh, how about giving? Let's give it up to a week to think about others. I need to be sure that I'm looking for more. Yes, more please. of those voices because this is just an immediate, quick, right. quick run through, not not as much a oh yeah here's this this and this. Yeah, so we do have time as as long as I uh, set aside appropriate amount for it, we would be good. So okay. let's let's circle back. Let's give this a couple of weeks, Mark. And All then right. I'll, I'll, I'll send a reminder for me uh, and then we can uh, talk more about it um, in a, say a couple of weeks. Cause I know we will we'll probably need some time to think about it. All right. And I'll actually, so, so what I'll do for what the list that we have right now. So I'll start this list on a document and I'll start collecting their addresses. Okay, great. And then we can continue to add to that list once we have we think of more. I'm sure that, there's more, that, yeah, and it's fine to have more people. Absolutely, that sounds great to me. So, so I'm going to put this one earlier. I still wanted to spend some of your time to talk about the Hacktoberfest swag topic. Yeah. Just to be sure that you and I are aligned there. Okay. So, so the fleece fleece sweatshirt sounds really great. Absolutely. Good. Okay, then I, in terms of the next one, I would love to have an excuse to say thanks to people who are willing to adopt a plug-in. Mm -hmm. Can we, can, can your budget stand a Jenkins is the way t-shirt? Let's assume we get 20 people that adopt plugins between now and end of the year. Yes. Okay, all right. Up to 20, good. I would love to have 20. I don't know that I'll... I'll get 20. We've got one right now and I hope for okay. more. Okay. And then on the Hacktoberfest swag mm -hmm. there, because of the worldwide nature of it, I was assuming we don't want the added cost and shipping challenges of sending t-shirts all around the world. Um, would it work for us to just do Jenkins stickers, a sticker or two in, an, in a regular size envelope? And I'm happy to be the one who does the sending. You know, I'm I'm willing to lick envelopes and post <laughs> stamps, kind of thing. Um, Hacktoberfest. So we have been sending T-shirts out. Uh, for we have been in, continuing to do it. Okay, so even internationally. Jenkins. Yes. The, my only beg is that they give me the correct address. Oh, good luck with that. The <laughs> challenge, and so we can say up front, if you don't give us the correct your address, the correct phone number, mm -hmm. you're not going to get one. So basically, I send this list to my vendor. They send the list to FedEx. And FedEx comes back and say, some of these addresses are bogus. They're, they're not correct. And okay. I end up, so then it falls back on my lap. I end up chasing after these folks. And I'm finding that I don't have the bandwidth for it and the right. ball is dropping there. Um, so that's my only, only beg is okay. that All right. give so, us your correct address, we'll send you something. But if you don't, then it's not gonna make it there and I'm not gonna okay. follow up. No, yeah, so that's, that's a good one. So no follow up if you give us a bad address. Yeah. I mean, even just one number is off mark, it's... Uh... Right. Well, and, and I understand why why you, you can say, I'm sorry, if if FedEx says this is not a valid address, there is nothing we can do to fix it. We can't afford the personal time cost to do that. Right. Great. Okay. 
So that's a must. Give us correct okay. information. All right. Well, so that's cool that if we're willing to send a T-shirt. So that that's um, Mark or others can collect uh, names and addresses and uh, names, addresses, and phone numbers, right? You've got to have... Mm -hmm. I need the phone number. Um, just that's not for me to call them, but it's for FedEx no, no. in case they get lost. Right. Well, and, <laughs> and it's, it's, they are free to choose not to share that. And if they choose not to share it, that means they choose not to receive the, the swag. Right. That's right. perfectly fine. We, we certainly don't require that kind of thing from someone. If they would rather not share it, that is their right. We, yeah. we don't mind. Yeah. Okay. And okay. how many how many t shirts would you do you anticipate for this Hacktoberfest? Looking at the current current pattern, so we're at the twenty first of the month. We're ten days away from done, and I would guess we've already got thirty or forty participants that I can identify. Okay. So I would guess double that. All right, doable. And if we assume 60 participants eligible, probably 10 to 20% of them choose not to. So we're still at 50. Mm -hmm. And that's that's workable on your budget? Yep. Okay, great. Yep. All right, excellent. That's great, okay. So um, uh, so the, the next related topic to this, Mark, is um, the design for the T-shirt. Are we using the one that Wodak and team created? And that I've got to understand what if if his design is uh, prefer Vodex design if it's not Cloud B specific, mm -hmm. and that I don't know if it is. So the that Wodex was... Wodex design is Cloud B specific. Ah, okay, all right. It's very cute. It's very cute, but it's very it's well, it's okay, so hobbies. so well, so so maybe maybe, but maybe again, that's a great way to say, hey, look, this is Cloud Bees saying thank you. Yeah. So that's so why fine. not? And let me check with Vodak to see if Mark check with Vodak if he's okay with that. Yeah. Confirm with Vodak that that we may reuse it. It for people that are not, are not at Cloudbees. Mm -hmm. And I guess whether the recipients would be okay if, to be, to be to actually, if, be. if they, if they are not okay with it, we assume they'll discard it. I'm not worried okay. about that. Okay. Someone, someone saying, I don't want a t-shirt. No problem. Got it. Okay, so prefer Vodex design and, and it, we acknowledge that it includes CloudBees, that it is CloudBees mm -hmm. themed. Great, yeah, excellent, okay. All right, any, let's see, I had Fosdom here as a topic as well. Is that a- Yes, please, let's talk about that. Okay, good. So, so my my working assumption right now is it's still undecided if it will be a physical event. Right. I'm hoping it is because I I am really desperately wanting to go to a physical conference and see human beings. <laughs> yeah, agreed. So. Agreed. Yeah, I've been checking their website so far this week. I've checked like three times a week, but it seems like they haven't really decided. Right. um for 2022 but it seems like 2023 will be in person i think that is more there's more assurance there than 2022 okay yeah great so so in terms of our involvement at fosdom i the the there will be a, i believe there's plans still for a ci ci cd dev room just mm -hmm. as there have been in past years. Olivier um, is likely to be one of the coordinators again for that. Oh, great. And so we probably want to be proposing talks yes. for that dev room. Now, if I remember correctly, last time they did have booths. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't very active, if I recall right. correctly. And that is consistent to like DevOps world as well. Sure, right, yeah. yep. 
Um, I wonder, could we, <clears throat> could we use some swag technique to increase traffic? Mm. I don't know what it would be, you know, it, yeah. do we offer a sticker? Come to us, ask five questions, and we'll we'll email, we'll physically mail you a sticker, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can we can put that that down as at least for, for discussion, right? We yeah. we we certainly use it when we're physically on site, right? Come Definitely. come talk to us at the at the at the booth, ask me a good question, I'll give you a sticker. Yeah. Yep. We can do that. Okay. But scale for sure will be in, in person. And that's oh, good. early all right, March. All right. So that's, let's make a note of that one. That's a good one. So scale. Um, and that's probably now, I don't know what number early, they're at. Oh, uh, early March. Is, do you mean the date? No, no. They've got a number they associate. In fact, I had a scale shirt oh. on earlier today. Oh, March yeah. of 2022 in-person conference in uh, Pasadena. Is that where it yes. is? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Plan to travel there. Um, booth, a Jenkins booth on site. Mm -hmm. And is that one where we want to attempt a workshop or are they allowing workshops? I think they are. I have not looked into details, uh, but I think they are, Mark. And um, yeah, if you just let me know whether we want to do that again, what what the workshop would be about, I'm assuming pipeline still? Yeah, pipeline? and and that's, I think there are two choices, right? We could attempt a contributing to open source. The problem is that one assumes I would expect low attendance, whereas Jenkins Pipeline, people say, oh, yeah, I'm, I've got to use that. So we may want to, to just do a, a Jenkins Pipeline variation. OK. All right. I'll, I'll look into that uh, for a training room. OK. And then I'll set budget for that, too. Great. All right. And let me just put Jenkins Pipeline as the preferred, oh. because just as I think about it, persuade is going to an open source conference and inviting people to contribute is is a nice a nice delusional option uh, attempt right it's a nice way to think gee yeah people will be no they're there to to learn and to grow and if they want to contribute we need to find other ways to get to them yeah so this uh so this the March 2022, this, that will be 19X, scale 19X. Oh, thank you. Good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and I should put for our CA California. That's right. There we go. So I heard, um, uh, so KubeCon took place, I think it was last week in, in LA, Mark? Right. And I heard the, there wasn't a lot of uh, people in attendance. Um, there was a lot of social, social distancing. So that means even the boots are social distanced. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So getting, they said getting from one booth to another was quite a walk. Oh, dear. Okay. Just getting to anything is quite a walk. Right. And uh, yeah. <laughs> And so that means the impact to that is less leads were able, were being scanned and just a lot of less people. You had to be vaccinated or show negative test result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. The booths were all, also social distanced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and, and understandably. So KubeCon, KubeCon last week. Uh, low physical attendance. Yeah, and, and that's that's the complication of welcome to COVID-19, right? Right. Okay. Right. So I think I, I think for us to at least it's for me, it's a it, it's good to have to have that kind of information in mind. And I'm thinking as we 
go into more in-person events, just expect a gradual growth. Not, it, it won't be the same as it was before. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Anything else we need to discuss on those upcoming conferences? I think that's it for us, for me. Okay, let's call it good then. Thanks, Alyssa. Thank you, Mark. Take care. See ya. Bye.